All right, my name is Robin Whitworth and I am the facilitator of the Elevated Mother Experience. And I have with me today, I point this way because that's what it is on my computer, but I'm not sure exactly what it will look like when you watch this recording, whoever you are. But I have with me today, Violet Wilkham, and she is mm -hmm. in the Elevated Mother Experience right now. Um, and she has done a little bit of coaching with me in like, the past like year, year and a half ago or so. Um, she is really familiar with coaching. She's really familiar with understanding support and feeling like the need and the necessity of having other people help you along in life. And I was honored when she was like, yes, I want to do this program with you. I was like, okay. Um, so Violet, give us a little snippet, a little picture of what your life is like. Are you married? Do you have children? Do you have pets? What is your surroundings like? All right. Well, I'm a single mom. I have three that still live with me off and on. My oldest and my younger one. I have one who only sees me on the weekends because he goes to school with his father. But my daughter still lives with me as she goes to school. She just goes up to the junior high, just up the road. And I'm working full time. And we have two dogs and a cat. Busy, so busy. busy woman. Yeah. So busy. So amazing. Okay. So before you got into this program, and we're working through them now, but what was the most challenging piece to that you were finding to? starting to see some abundance, starting to implement, starting to find some more personal peace, some more peace within your home. What was one of the most challenging pieces for you? Uh, well, I know a lot, but it was getting it implemented and getting my brain to remember that I knew these things instead of having it like after the fact. I mean, the awareness was there. It just wasn't implementing what I knew. So it was now that I had gained the awareness, I needed to implement. And did you have, I know you did, what were your specific hesitations about coming into this program when we were talking about it and what it would look like and what it would mean, the cost, the, the commitments, like what were some of the hesitations that you had? Yeah, uh, first was the cost for me, but we managed to work it out because our budget changed. So it was now in the budget, <laughs> but it just was good timing for that. And then, you know, I was worried about being vulnerable and stuff. And I found it a lot easier than I, than it, than I thought it would be. Like on the there. sessions or with the group, what was the piece to that? The group, mm -hmm. the group was the biggest part that made me nervous, <laughs> but it definitely helps. So, um, there are a lot of women that are hesitant about a group aspect. And this, this program is considered a hybrid where we have a one-on-one -on -one and then we have the group experience. Um, so now that you know what it's like, tell us just a little bit, like if someone's like, Violet, what's it really like when I get in there? Like, what's the experience like? Oh, well, we get the great one-on-one -on -one with you, which is always encouraging. And then we're learning. Sometimes we learn new skills, which I, I like learning. So for me, it's like, yes, let's learn something else. Let's, let's, and now let's implement. <laughs> Still a little bit of the implementing, but learning it, you know, is something I need to do first anyway. So it's learning it and then sharing it with the group and having the group make comments and, you know, not being afraid of them so much makes it quite a good experience. I'm enjoying just having the group and learning with the women and it's been one of the best parts I think so far. Um, and if you could share with us, you've had several wins, several moments of, oh my gosh, I'm actually seeing this happen for me. Um, mm -hmm. What's one result you can share with us that's happened that you believe because you're in this program, you will able to do it? I'm able to back engineer goals now or reverse engineer. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That reverse engineer goals. And, you know, I can make them small and realize that even those small steps are actually getting me somewhere because I'm 
because I know what happens next. After I've done this for a little while, the next I take the next step, and then I take the next step, and those little steps will in, eventually end up to the goal that I created. And what's one goal like where you've taken a step and it happened for you? What was it? Now the biggest one was trying to get back into my spirituality and get and raise that back up, and it's been happening a lot. Taking the small steps, you know, five minutes here, ten minutes there, going to church, then you know just really basic things that we take for granted sometimes are just steps to getting me there that's awesome and when you think about that and and the other results that you've had what do those results mean to you personally to see that happening what does that mean i feel like i'm progressing that i'm not stuck in a rut that i'm that I'm capable of doing more than I thought I was mm. instead of feeling trapped inside this small box. There's actually more to me and more to what I can do. That's big. Cause yeah. you are amazing. And it's so fun to see you cracking, kind of cracking out of kind of a cage, I guess a little bit. It's, it's been really cool. Last question. Mm -hmm. um, so if there is a woman that has those same hesitations. She's worried about the vulnerability. There's a little bit of like, is the cost going to be worth it? Like she's busy, she works, she's doing these things and she's considering this program. What would you say mm -hmm. to her to help her decide if it's something she wants to do? That's something. Ask her if she would recommend it to someone else. Because usually if you can recommend it to somebody else or, or you would advise someone else to do it, then it's probably good to do it yourself. And so you would recommend this program? Yeah. I would recommend it, anyone doing it. And that was why I was like, if I can recommend it to someone else to talk with Robin, then I better talk with Robin myself. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, well, do you have anything else you would like to share with whoever's watching this video in the future? Yeah, just don't be afraid. It's a great leap for you. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this on this evening. And I know that um, mm -hmm. you have a busy life and everything and taking the time to share this with us for whoever watches this in the future. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome.